Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next I am planning to show you that how I install these cam shafts in this to this Toyota VVTi engine. And first couple of things. This cam shaft must be very clean and slightly oily in here, but no any 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 oily in these and we need to clean these all parts carefully in cotton cloth and especially this bearing surface in here. All of these carefully clean and no any dirt is in there and then we can install this is like X housed X housed camp shaft and there is this in intake and also in here all these oils away in these parts all oils away and then this bearing plates very clean and and all extra particles what are in here it's good to take away and then I install this this cam shafts in there and 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 in that next phase, when we are starting to install these uh, these bearing plates, before of that, we need to install these cam shafts in right position, in this central adjusting position. And next, we will do that. Okay, and then we need to install in that stage this camshaft so that that this this cam camshaft this upper parts that they are in like in up in this area and 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 also in here when I rotate that they are in this up position in here okay good and then we start to insert those cam shaft bearing caps in there and I take those in here. Okay and then when we have those bearing cover plates there is important that we have clean cotton cloth and we clean that area carefully that there is no any oil or sand and then we can see in here there is text I2 and an arrow this means intake 2 and this row in here is intake 2 and that row is in here intake and next house 1 and this part goes in this intake area and how to remember which one is intake and next house normally next house these pipes are very dirty and these are very clean those intake and then in that area is all all also this thermostat in that intake area and oil filter and this goes to this intake part 2 and it's it's mandatory that we install this part okay and then it's mandatory that we install these parts in right positions and, and here is X housed X housed 2 and arrow and that means that this arrow points to directly in this time chain array. This is the point. Arrows always through this time chain. And there was this intake to an arrow shows in that place. And then we check that. It is X housed 3, an arrow right, and then this one intake 3 and take intake 4, good and X house 4 and here is this X house 5 and it goes in here and then we have this this part what is this number 1 one plate what goes in here and I need to clean this this bearing plates carefully there is no any there is no any things in there. 
nice, everything is clean. Okay, and then this place is to and now this part part looks looks clean and also these areas are clean and then this part goes there's these holes and I think that that it, it goes in this way and how about then this other way in that way it, it don't go and there's idea that these holes in here this this comes in in here okay and also it is now in there very nicely and then we need to install these bolts in here and we had this kind of bolts put which in here and then I install all of these bolts and after that we continue okay and now I have installed in here all of these bolts they are in these these areas all of bolts are similar but in here we need this little bit bigger bolt but look that one and it goes first in there and then second goes in here and then next one goes in here okay good and next when these bolts are in there I need to do this first pre thickening these are 10 millimeters and I start my job in here I take my socket okay and now I start my pre thickening in these bolts in here and, and in there we have this 13 millimeter what fits in here and now I pick them there a little bit not too much and then that one and it's it's very easy not not much I stop the pick them in right away okay it is there Okay, and then in here. Okay, now these are in pretty thick then and then I start to tick then these bolts in here and for that I need a uh, socket what is this size 10 10 is this size and, and and this 10 I start dictating here right in central and also not too much this force like in here Carefully, I stop my thickening right away when this fast moving ends. ends. Okay, now it takes contact, and then next one. Okay, now it takes contact, and then I thicken all of these bearing caps. And, and after that we do this talk with friends moment dictate and we continue soon okay and then when all of these bolts are pre dictated pre I need to do this final dictating and there is now idea that first I dicten these bolts in here and then that bolts and after that these final bolts 
and there is idea that these smaller 10 mm bolts there is this force 15, 14 or 15 newton meters in here and this ones is this little bit higher like 25 and but first I thickened this extra housed camshaft and it's idea that one camshaft per time and then we go to next one and I start in the central area and there I need to insert this 15 15 newton, newton in here and there is 14 and now it's if now we have this 15 in there in scale okay and then I start then in here and we start to wait this click sound. Okay, now it says click. Record. And then in here. Click. In here. And then in here. Click. in there and then in this final part click okay and then I tested is this still in this moment good good it seems and then I go in that area click then here click and click and then in here click and click and then in here click click and then I tick then these bolts next okay and then I tick then these three bolts and I start in here and because these are bigger bolts I need bigger to bigger bigger to a friends and I set up in here this 25 and it is almost in this 30 where I set up this okay and then I had this 13 millimeter socket it's in there and here I start the stick in the first. Okay, now it's a click. And then in here. And then I go to stick in this final, final bolt in here. Okay, now. Now it says this stick then and I, I check this again the code and this is good okay okay and now I have made this this campsite thickening and next of that I think that I like to add in there a little bit oil and I saw that how, how this happened. Okay and then I like to add this oil in all of these bearing point areas in this way and this purpose is that that when we start this engine there is this oil and it helps this engine and now we can add in here more this oil and also in here where we have that area and, and it is okay good and then it's important that 
that I take like this kind of tool and I insert in that that bolt in here and I can a little bit move move these these bearings. I check also that, that how easily they move and this moves very nicely. And then I like also in that stage insert in this cylinder head cams. There this oil this oil is must that way. Okay. And then I again I move in this position. I carefully move this cam shaft that this moves. Okay, this moves in this way. And also in that part. Okay, now I believe that there is at least a little bit oil in this part. Excellent. Okay, and this was that end how to install this camshaft back and next we continue. And thank you for watching this video.